sure it will come. Um, right, that's fine. Okay, so that is how you determine the price of a bond. Are we okay? Are we okay with the price determination of price of bond? Yes, sir. That should not be a problem. But the question is that we should also be able to determine our cost of equity. The, sorry, the cost of what? Debt. We have done the cost of equity. We should be able to determine the cost of debt, which we call what? In the bond situation, we call yield or what? Yield to maturity. Remember, I've said that they are the same thing. Okay, yield or yield to maturity. Okay. All right. So that one, it is very difficult to do if if solving the whole bond equation and trying to determine the R, okay? And trying to determine the R. So normally what we do is that, what we do is that we use what we call internal rates of return, a formula called internal rates of return, okay? Okay, internal rates of return. So your R, using the IRR approach, okay? Using the IRR approach, okay? Then we will say that your R is equal to A plus NPV Hold on, I will not teach you this today. Okay. Okay, so write that we can use the IRR approach. We can two ways of determining the um the cost of debt, okay? Okay. When you are dealing with bonds, okay, for bonds, you can use the IRR approach and then you can use the YTM formula. Okay. Uh, the reason I'm not going to teach you this is because when we start next week, okay, when we start next, the, the topic we are going to deal with next week, okay, we are going to, we are going to discuss some of these things in there. That's why to we just try and bring it in, okay? It's not difficult. I mean, it's a try and error something. You try two things and then you finally arrive at it. But this is the formula. Now the formula does not give you the exact rate. It doesn't give you what? The exact rate, but it gives you an approximate rate, okay? It gives you an approximate rate, okay? Now, this is the formula to determine the cost of debt of a bond or the yield of a bond, the yield to maturity. Then your yield to maturity is equal to C plus into brackets, the phase value. Okay, this is the phase value. The phase value minus the price of the bond. This is divided by N, okay? Then you do this whole thing divided by the average of the two prices, okay? So it becomes FV plus P naught divided by two, okay? Where C, what is C? C will be what, your what? Your coupon, right? C is what? Coupon. Yes, C is your coupon, sorry. And your FV, right? FV is face value phase value and your p naught is the price okay price of the bond today your n is the number of compounding periods or number of years you know that and two is two okay yeah two is two right <laughs> two is two yes okay. yes right so let's pick a question and try and use this formula to solve okay so what we are doing is that after writing P naught is equal to C over R, have you written the formula? Can I clean the board? Yes, sir. C, remember, it is all over, the top all over. Mm -hmm. All over, okay, including the C, everything up there, then you type the other one, right. So, so you said the formula but, that doesn't give the, that gives approximated rate. Yes, yes. C over R, one, one plus R and one plus R. What we are trying to do is to solve everything. We will, you will be given P naught, you'll be given C. 
you'll be given the redemption value and you are told to find R, which is very difficult to do if you want to do change of subject, very, very difficult. So to be able to find this R, which we call yield to maturity, okay, we approximate that yield to maturity to be equal to C plus FV, which is the face value minus P not all divided by N. Then this whole thing divided by FV plus P not divided by two. Okay, so we are more or less, we have done all the change of subject and we are trying to arrive at something like this. Please, are you getting the point? All right, okay, that's fine. Okay, so let's let's pick a question and try to apply the formula and see. When we get to capital budgeting, we will use the IRR, okay? You understand? I mean, the examination condition, we don't expect you to use IRR to do the YTA. If you can, no problem, okay, no problem, but... It's usually uh, okay. So a uh, bond has a market price of 850 cities. What is that? Yes, what figure is that? What variable represents 850? Yes. Come on, yes. Peanut. 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 Okay. Peanut is 850. That's how you have told you. When you are reading a finance question, you read, get a figure, get to a full stop, and then analyze what that figure really means, and then you proceed. So that is P naught. The face value is thousand CDs. What is that face value? I mean, FV, FV is thousand. Okay. The coupon rate is fifteen percent. So that is our coupon rate, right? Fifteen percent. The bond has seven years to maturity. That is what. Three years to maturity it means what? Our uh, N. That is our N. And we are asked to calculate the yield to oh. oh, but where do you see 850? You know question one. Question four, we have we have done question four. Those ones we are calculating the bond price. No, the, okay. the we are, one. This one we are calculating the bond. You should have another one. And the two questions. So we are doing this question. We are doing this question. This question. Okay. No, we are doing we are doing question one in this this slide. Can you see the slide anyway? I can't see, but I'm looking at some of your screen. So no, please. Oh, okay. Sorry, sorry. Let me share. Okay. If if you can see, let me know. Can you see now? No, yes, you can see now. Okay. So we are saying that a bond has a market price of 850 cities. The face value is 1,000 cities. The coupon rate is 15% per annum. The bond has 70 years to maturity. Calculate the yield, or what you call the yield to maturity. Now, this 850, what is it? Peanut. Peanut. Yes, the price of the bond to the peanut. This Face value is what we use FV as we use in the formula, right? The face yeah. value. Yeah. Okay, as we use in the, the, the formula. Now, the coupon rate is 15%, which is our coupon rate, of course. And the bond has seven years to maturity. What is this? Yeah. The bond has seven years. What is the seven years represent? N. Yeah. N. Okay. Now, calculate the coupon and tell me what the figure is. What is the coupon? Coupon is the amount. The coupon rate is just a rate, but the coupon is the amount that you are getting. 150. 150. The coupon is 150. Okay, so let's go to the board and then apply the formula. Okay, so our YTM is simply C plus FV minus P naught divided by n all divided by what fv plus p not divided by two okay so we have calculated our c to be what 150 okay which is 15 percent times a thousand our fv is giving the question as thousand our p not is given as 850 and n is given as what seven so our YTM therefore becomes 150 plus into brackets, thousand 
minus 850 divided by two. Put the, put the, the thing in brackets as you see it, okay? And then we have another bracket, 1,000 plus 850. Oh, sorry, this is divided by seven, right? N is seven. And this one is divided by two. Okay, the top part is N, okay? All right. Okay, so we are just, just plugging the figures in there. In, in any situation, they will give you all of the variables apart from what? Apart from the, the white here, and they will tell you to calculate the white here. Okay, so you only have to abreast yourself with this one. All right, this is the simplest way this formula can be written anyway. This is the simplest way. Okay, yeah, so punch and give me the answer 4.6. Okay, 4.6. What? Six. Yes. Okay. Anybody with a different answer? I had 18.53. You had 18.53. Somebody said they had 18.53. Who said? Who, who had 5.6? Sir, please me. Paulina. No, sir. Who what had 8. Who, who had the five points? Cote. Cote, okay, okay. Okay, if you want to speak, you unmute yourself. All right. Cote, did you get 150 like this? Cote, yeah, unmute yeah. yourself. Let's talk. Mm -hmm. 150, yes. then plus. Okay, remember it's a division, so you can punch the division sign first. 150. At the top, plus into bracket, thousand minus eight fifty. Then you close the bracket, divided by seven. Have you done that? Koti, have you done yes, that? Yes, please. Then come down, come press the, the down button and come to the denominator, which is into bracket thousand plus 850, close the bracket. Now divide by two. Okay, then punch is equal to, let us see what you get. What do you get? Zero Eight point two. one. Kote, what, what do you get? 18 point. You have gotten this answer, right? 18.53, right? Yes, please. Okay, so it means that you may, may have left something out when you were punching. Okay. Right, so so that is how we calculate the yield to maturity. That's how we calculate the yield to maturity. Let's, let's pick one um, last question and then we can call it a day. Um, I think question, th was it question three? There's a question on that again. Can you see my screen? And which screen do you see? So we can see. We, we can see the question again. Okay. Can you see? Can you see the, the yes? Okay. Okay, so let's look at question uh, question three. Quickly, everybody should do question three. Remember that there is something called semi-annual. Okay, so wherever it, whatever it affects, you make it affect it, and then we can proceed. Okay, I want I want okay. you to try on your own. Yes, go ahead. Please, I was the one recording, but I lost the connection. So I don't know if the co-host now can start recording. Is this true message speaking? Yes, sir. Yeah, somebody is recording. I think Steve is recording for us. Okay. Now let's look at question three and then you'll solve it by yourself. Okay, look at question three. A bond which has which matures in five years has a coupon rate of eight percent. Remember, semi-annual interest. So whatever the rate is, then you divide by two. Okay. It has maturity value of thousand. Okay, and a current price of thousand two hundred. 
Um, is Anita still here? Yes, please. Okay, Anita, it has a maturity value of 1,000. What does it mean? What value is this? So there is redemption value. The redemption value. And a current price of 1,200. What, what is this? D not. What? P not. P not, right? Yes. Yes. P -not. P -not. Yes. yes. What is the face value in this question? Thousand. Thousand. Told you. If they are silent, it is thousand. Okay. If they are silent, it is thousand. Okay. The maturity value, no problem. But if they are silent, it is thousand. Okay. So go ahead and solve the white team and tell me. Sir, can I ask a question? Go ahead. Sir, please, what if they don't, would they always give the maturity value? If they don't give the maturity value and they don't give the face value, you assume that they're above the same, 1,000, 1,000. Okay, okay. Thank you. Yes, if, if, if the question is silent about maturity value and face value, you assume 1,000, 1,000. I've said this, right? If they give you the maturity value 2,000, hmm? if they, they give you the maturity value 2,000, then they will give you an indication that the face value is the same or they are redeemed at a premium. So they can say that, well, it has a maturity value of 2,000, which is maybe 500 cities above the face value. So they will tell you something to let you know what the face value is. If they are silent, it is 1,000, okay? If they are silent, it is 1,000. If they are silent, not, no figure is giving the question. You use 1,000, 1,000 to calculate the price, okay? Yes, sir. Okay. That's fine. Yes. yes. This question, the years, we also multiply it by two because it's semi annual. Yes, that is it. But why do you think they will just put semi annual there to make you feel? They want you to make an, the end 10. <clears throat> okay. So you set out n is equal to five. Is it semi annual times two? Yes. Your coupon is 8%. So divided by two becomes 4% on the 1,000. Then you, the rest of the, the, the thing follows. Are you getting the point? Yes. Yes. <clears throat> so what is your coupon here? So 1.81. Coupon. 40. 40. What is your coupon? 8%. 8%. I didn't say what is your coupon rate. 40. I said what is the coupon? 40. 40 cities. Okay. It's 40 cities. Okay. Continue. What is your N? What N will you use in the computation? 10. 10. 10. 10. Yes. Okay. That's fine. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead and solve and give me the answer. So I had 1.8%. You had 1.8%. 1. 1. 1. 1. One point eight percent. One point eight one percent. One point eight one percent. Anybody with a different answer? 1.82. I know you are going to say 1.8. Anybody with a different answer? 1.8. <laughs> okay. Anybody with a different answer? Anybody with a different answer? Okay. Um, so, so that is that for cost of equity and bond valuation. Yes. Anybody with a different answer? Yes. Who is, who is speaking? Who is speaking? Francisca. 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 Is that the, what did you get? Three point six. What did you get? Three. Three point six three. Yes. What What did you do? Guess through what you did. What was your coupon? Your C was what? 40. Okay, 40 uh -huh, plus. Yes, into bracket. What did you put there? So, so when I got there, I had 1.81 no, no, no. and I multiplied it by 2. Ah, why so you multiply by, by 2? 
why are you multiplying by okay two? i have to divide by two no what what is causing you to multiply and divide so i should divide it you are finding an answer whatever answer you get leave it there okay leave it there oh, so you so have you one point eight something yes. do you understand what when you say leave it there do you understand that one no you don't understand that one okay that's so why should we leave it there okay you can continue you can continue dividing and dividing and dividing <laughs> <laughs> We have given you a formula. Thankfully, you have gotten the answer and you are, you are continuing. <laughs> what you have done, if you multiply or divide, means that the whole formula I gave you, you have divided or you have multiplied. Okay, which is different. If, whatever you do there is different from. Oh, okay. Sir. Yes. Please, I had 1.25. Okay, work us through your, form, your, your, your solution. What was your coupon? 40. 40. Uh huh. Class yeah. bracket, yes. Thousand. Thousand. Mm -hmm. Thousand two hundred. Minus thousand two hundred. Divided by. Divided by. Ten. Ten. Divided by ten, right? And you remember you put yes. a thousand and thousand in brackets. You did that. Yes, okay, please. so come to the denominator. Uh mm huh. -hmm. Work with thousand. Uh huh. Thousand. Thousand two hundred. Thousand plus thousand two hundred. Uh -huh. Divided by two. Divided by two. Okay. Yes. So what? Press the code. What did you get? I had zero point zero one two five. Master, I don't know Bobby before Frana. No. Oh, pick your calculator. Pick your calculator. Let's do this. Press the, the, the division sign, the over, over thing. The one after the solve, the calc thing. Have you seen it? Press the fraction on the calculator. Yes, please. You have done that. OK. Yes. Now do 40 plus into brackets. Thousand. Make sure you close the brackets nicely, OK? Punch everything. You have said, and let's see if you get the same answer. If you get the same answer, then it means that you are punching something. Oh. So, so I had one point eight. One point eight two. Uh huh. That is what everybody had. So now you are correct. Okay. Thank you. Right. Yes, okay. So that is that is all for cost of debt and bond valuation. Now. On Monday, we will finish with work. Then we will clear our hands from this. And then if there is time, we will begin with capital budget, which will be the, probably the last topic that we will treat. Okay, I don't know. How many more weeks do we have, Steve? Say so one week. That's next week. Yeah, next week. Okay, so all we will try and do is to um, finish at least um, capital budgeting um, next week, okay? Finish capital budget in next week. Yes, Anita, what is what is happening? Uh, please, um, I was serving a question on the um the equity cost of equity, and then they asked me to find the intrinsic price of the stock, and I didn't understand that. So, can you explain that one to me? No, that is that is a different realm. Uh, they, what did they give you? What data did they give you? Uh, they gave you they, debt value. Did they give you short term investments? They give you so, so many things. No, they gave me um the the price. They didn't give me the price of no, the they will bond. not give you the price. Is it the I'm price of the bond or the share? They, it's a, a it's a, um shares, yes. yes shares. Center price valuation. So, I know where you are going, yes. The shares they give me the rates and the growth rate. Yes, and they will give you all those things. Then yes, they give you the number of shares. Have, the number of no. They didn't give you the num total number of shares in the company. No. Okay, so you send me that question. Let me see. Okay, I'll what search is for it valuation, and then... enter Enterprise valuation. I know where you are. Okay, I'll, I'll search for it and put it inside there. 
chat box. Oh, but we are closing the class. How would I okay, okay. find my number? So I don't then... have your number. Oh, let me put it in the chat box. Please okay. don't be WhatsApping me in the evening. Huh? Yes. Yes, sir. Huh. <laughs> so can I stop the recording now? Yes, you can. You can. Okay, you can. <laughs>